the Vanderbilt Commodores 63 to 10 over Hawaii and goodness gracious uh, this one started out seven to nothing Hawaii and I immediately thought well this is obviously why I did not want to bet on the Commodores because it's still Vanderbilt at the end of the day but man after that it was all she wrote I mean this thing was about as brutal as you can get uh the Vanderbilt defense still not great, but they didn't allow Hawaii to finish a bunch of drives. So that's certainly one thing, I guess you could say. Uh, looking at this, offensive yards per play, 9.3 for the Commodores to only 5.74. Uh, total yards, 623 to 425. Vandy didn't have any turnovers to three for Hawaii. Uh, Vandy was better on third down, 45% to 31%. They went for it five times on fourth down, and they got one of them, which was better than the 0 of 4 that Hawaii did. <laughs> Vandy had nine scoring opportunities, and they got 4.67 points per scoring opportunity. Uh, Hawaii, on the other hand, seven scoring opportunities for only 1.43 points per drive. For those that don't know what a scoring opportunity is, that is a drive where you get a first down inside the opponent's 40-yard line. That, that just means it's a good drive, and how how well did you do? Vandy got two defensive and special teams touchdowns here. Uh, the field position, Vanderbilt, nine yards better. Average uh, starting field position in this one, thirty their own 33 to uh, Hawaii's own 24. And this was just a beatdown of epic proportions. I don't think that this says anything necessarily about Vanderbilt. I think what it tells you is Hawaii is going to be really, really bad this year. Uh, I mean, it's just, I don't even know what to, what to make of it. They, they did some fun things on offense. They tried out a few different things. Um, but man, Hawaii is just, yeah, uh, they're, they, they're small. They look small. They look confused. It's, they don't really have a full FBS roster right now. And Timmy Chang is going to have his hands full, but at least the administration is giving him the time needed to be able to turn this thing around. Because they know how bad things got under Todd Graham, and they lost everybody. They had some talented players. They got some guys that are going to be starting on two deeps, or that will be on two deeps for Power 5 good football programs. And they did have them at Hawaii. Had the chances, had the opportunities, and yet here we are. But uh, regardless, Vanderbilt, this is the story. 63 points. I mean, just looked awesome for Clark Lee. Uh, quarterback Mike Wright led the attack. Uh, he led the rushing attack. Uh, they had over 400 yards rushing in this game, uh, nine yards per carry. They had five rushing touchdowns here. Uh, the passing game wasn't a lot to write home about, but they were able to at least turn a few good plays. I will say that. Uh, this is good for Clark Lee. I mean, just great for Vanderbilt. You don't get to see this very often for the Commodores, and yet here we are. It was good stuff. Good stuff for Vandy. Good stuff for the SEC. Uh, Hawaii, just, ooh. Uh, rough stuff. Rough stuff. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.